So in this video, I'm going to show you top 10 best center backs in FIFA Mobile 22 right now. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. Obviously, these are just my opinions as well. Let me know down in the comment section if you disagree with me with any of these. But yo, we obviously got this new 102 overall Sergio Ramos, 101 overall new Bobby Moore cards. But believe it or not, none of them make my top top 10 right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off with number 10. And at number 10, I put 97 overall Maldini. Paolo Maldini has got 102 pace, 125 defending, 104 physical. Marking skill boost is 6 out 1 with medium high work rates and he's got doubts to tackles, uh, leadership and team player traits. Obviously, for a very, very long time, this was the best center back you could get. But right now, um, he's a bit underwhelming, quite an old card. And yeah, used to be a low, a low bear, but right now he's not really the best anymore. At number 9 then, I went ahead and put 98 overall. Uh, Dev Ray. He's got 96 pace, 119 defending, 109 physical, 92 agility and 90 passing as well. He's got tackling skill boost. I like that card, uh, this card a lot. When I, came, uh, when I came against him, he was very, very nice indeed. Defensively, he's strong. He's uh, quite strong as well physically. He's got all right pace, not the best pace, but it's all right. And he's got tackling skill boost as well. He's 6 or 2 with medium high work rates and he's got long passer, uh, long passer trait. A lot of people might not agree with uh, with the risk position there at number at number nine, but I genuinely think he's that good. I, I think he makes makes into top ten. Anyways, at number eight, then I went ahead and put the ultimate team of the season, ninety eight overall, Kalidou Koulibaly, who is now at Chelsea. He's now at Chelsea, but he's got one one pace, one fifteen defending, one thirteen physical. He's got defending skill boost. This is a Napoli card, of course, the ultimate team of the season one. But yeah, great stats. Defensively, very nice. He's quite strong. When I came, uh, when I when I'm coming up against him, he's always always a great defender. He's got power headed trait as well, which I quite like. And he's six foot two with medium high work rate, and he's got defending skill boost. So if you if you are one of the guys uh, who are using a different a def defending skill boost, he might be one of your best choices. Anyways, now let's go ahead and move on to the number seven position. Then at number seven, I went ahead and put ninety nine overall ultimate team of the season, um, Mar Marquinhos. He's got 102 pace, 99 passing, 196 agility, 119 defending, 110 physical, like this card a lot as well. He's got defending skill boost, he's got 105 acceleration, 100 sprint speed, as well as a good standing tackle, 125 sliding tackle, 121 marking, 119 awareness, goal right strength, he's got good jumping and heading, He's also got leadership, long passer, power header, as well as team player traits. So a lot of traits, he's six foot, not the tallest of course, but as we saw, he's got power header trait as well as his uh, heading is 116, his jumping is 120, so it's not going to be a problem with him to score a couple of header goals here and there. And yeah, very nice card, medium high work rates, defending skill boost. Once again, he's got defending skill boost just like with Koulibaly, so one of the better shots for defending skill boost from uh, Marquinhos right there. Let me know down in the comment section where you will put this ultimate team of the season Marquinhos. Anyways, at number 6 then, I went ahead and put that new 100 overall Yong Ho Hong card or Hong Yong Ho. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if I'm butchering that name and how should I say it because I don't know exactly but I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Anyways, he's got 5 star record which is quite nice, 1 note repays, 95 passing 98 agility 117 defending 115 physical he looks like a very very good card he's got great stats he's got tackling skill boost as well 117 standing tackle 113 marking 123 sliding tackle 118 strength 118 jumping uh, he's got decent pace of course he's six foot one with medium high work rates and he's got doubts into tackles as well as power header trait looks like a very very good card i actually did not come up against him yet because his new card is 110 million coins one yeah 110 million coins he's gonna award a lot less very very soon so nobody got him yet but with his stats right now i'm gonna put him at number six at number five then i went ahead and put that new uh, superhero card which is ivan Rivan cordoba from colombia he's got 106 pace 119 defending 114 physical He's got marking skill balls. I came up against him. He was definitely good. But yeah, 119 marking, 118 standing tackle, 121 sliding tackle. He's got good physical stats as well. He's got uh, low high work rates, which is good. Leadership, power header, and team player traits. The only big problem with him is obviously the fact that he's 5 foot 8. But yeah, he's got power header trait. He's got good jumping and heading. So he might still win a couple of headers here and there. And you might score a couple of headers with him pretty much. Anyways. 
Now let's go ahead and move on to the number four position. Number four, I went ahead and put a 100 overall prime icon, Nemanja Vidic. This card is actually very, very good still. He's got 92 pace, 121 defending, 116 physical. He's got tackling skill boost as well. It's that he's not the fastest, of course, but defensively and physically, he's very, very good. And in game, actually, this card is insane. I came up against him and I couldn't do much about that, about this card. He's 603 as well. He's got medium high work rates and doubts into tackles, power header, as well as team player traits. As I said, beast of a card right there for Vidic. And he's only like 36.7 million coins as well. He used to be a lot more. So yeah, that's, that's I guess, all right. Now let's go ahead and move on to the number three. And at number three, I went ahead and put uh, 101 overall Carlos Puyol, uh, the Barcelona legend. 96 pace, 92 passing, 85 agility, 123 defending, 117 physical. Obviously not the fastest, not the fastest once again, but defensively incredibly good. Physically, he's very very good as well. Defending skill boost. He's not the tallest. He's 5'10", but he's got medium high work rates and power headed trait as well as leadership and team player traits. Uh, which is quite good uh and yeah he's got good uh once again decent jumping and heading as well as his scope power head trade so i think he's gonna win a couple of headers for you uh, and you're gonna be able to score a couple of header a couple of corner headers anyways at number two i went ahead and put a hundred overall rafael Varan. the card that is actually free to play he's got he's 20 million coins and he's got 105 pace 91 passing 89 agility 121 defending 113 physical it's incredible that this card was free to play that summer celebration event was so so good so grindable uh with secret souvenirs as well we didn't know where we will choose those secret souvenirs and the fact that we got this 100 overall players him and i think there was hazard as well the 100 overall and sergio Busquets. one of those three you could get free to play but anyways uh yeah incredible stats of course once again for varan and in game, he's a beast as well. He's 6 or 3, medium high work rate, and he's got Dows into tackle trade. Like a great card, of course. And at number one, I had to put no no one else than 100 overall ultimate team of the season, uh, Virgil van Dijk. 100 pace, 96 passing, 95 agility, 122 defending, 116 physical, marking skill boost. This card is still so, so good in game. Like, it's so hard to get past him. Like, that card is incredibly, incredibly good. He's six foot four, medium high walk rates. He's got leadership, long passer, and power headed traits as well. And yeah, marking skill was by all already said that, I think. So, Van Dyke and Rafael Varane are definitely the best ones, the best center backs, in my opinion. I, I, I would edge towards for Van Dyke a bit more than Varane, but this Varane card is still very, very nice indeed. Anyways, this, is, this was my top 10 center backs. Let me know down in the comment section if you've got different top 10. If you disagree with me with any of these opinions, you might think that Hong Yong Ho should not be 6th, or you might think that Marquinhos should not be, what was it, 7th? You might not think, you might think Ruben Diaz should be at, uh, should be one of the top 10 positions, at one of the top 10 positions. Let me know. Anyways, this is gonna be the end. Make sure to like and subscribe, and peace.